to explain to 13, 14 year old. I essentially try to give my lecture to my granddaughter who is, uh, what she is, maybe 14. And then I found out that I have to change a lot. But uh, so there are several things to explain. First of all, the idea, which is very simple to any age, that if you have a very, very complex system, uh, you have to, the best is to focus on the main part and not to, like if it is a picture, not to look on all the parts in the same details. So, for example, in, in my lecture, we try to, I'm still working on it, but we have a, a cat in the forest and we try to sh focus on the cat and to have the forest with much less pixel. So, this is the general idea of what one call multi-scaling. Now, when it comes to biology, you have a complex protein and you want to understand how it works. So, first of all, you have to assume that you could deal with it. This is, you know, not to listen to people who say that it is too complex. Then you say, I want to understand how it works. Like if you have a watch and you want to, the watch is already there, and you want to understand how it works, uh, you have first to think about it, which uh, I think that a 13 year old boy or girl could understand. Then, then you look on parts of it and try to figure out how they work when all the rest is not moving. And then you try, after you understand this, to let the rest of it move, and then you get a picture of how it works. So it's basically understanding how biological molecule works. And uh, to explain more, you have to take a given system, like proteins that chop molecules, and you want to understand why it works so fast. And uh, the main point is that uh, it's very hard to do it without a computer, so young people understand what is computer, but this is not to send text message, but to actually model how things are working. And when you model it, you kind of understand it. It's like simulator for uh, flight training. So you are going inside the protein and see how it works.